today's topic is going to be SEO for commercial real estate websites or search engine optimization. So one of the things that you want to probably start out with is doing like a site scrub. So you can hire somebody uh, to do this for you. They basically go in and make sure your meta tags, which are by the way, if you're ever Google searching and you see the title and the description underneath it, um, if your meta tags are not filled out, then Google's algorithm is just kind of like choosing what they think is probably your page title and your description. You obviously don't want that. You want uh, that to be very clean. You want to be able to, you know, show whatever the page name is, your company name, and then, you know, have the description with some keywords in it that you want to be hitting. So um, somebody can go in there and uh, really do like a site scrub. So they'll do the meta tags, make sure that they know um, the keywords that you want to hit and um, they'll also go in there and change out some of your images they'll change out your titles they'll add keywords to your images descriptions to your images um, all the little pieces um, that Google looks at to uh, figure out what your website is about uh, so a full scrub optimization is always like a really great way to start and you can find these people um, on the web you can find them on fiber uh, peopleperhour.com those kind of things you can find people to do a full scrub for you. Now, another big consideration when you are um, looking at some of these Google rankings is your load speed. So you want your website to load as fast as possible. And it's become ever increasing um, part of Google because I think it's 40% of searches now for Google are on your mobile. So load speed has become increasingly important as time has gone on. So if you do have like an older website where especially if you're like paying for hosting and it's like three to five dollars a month, you probably do not have good load speed. Now, one of the better ways to do this is, of course, get yourself a better host. So you're looking at maybe like a cloud host, um, some, you know, a cloud server or something like that. If you're like, oh, I do not want to move my server. It's a lot of work. I get you. So one of the ways that you can decrease your load speed without changing your hosting is actually um, getting a company like Cloudflare or some other uh, caching company uh, to, to make copies of your website. So a lot of these places um, have like a free option where, um, where they'll do it for free on their servers. And then um, what you can do, what I suggest that you do is that you start with the free option and if it's not really giving you the results that you want, then um, start paying uh, the premium prices for it and just see if that helps at all. So how do those things work? So it's basically a caching system. So um, without getting too technical, I'm going to get very, very uh, vague here on the details. But if your server is like in um, New York and somebody in California is trying to look at your website, they're going to have a longer load time than somebody in New York because they're closer to it. Those electrons don't have to, uh, to uh, go that far. But California might have an extra second or two just to go to the server and then back with the data. So what they do is they have um, servers all over the place. So they'll have a server in California, they have a server in like Utah, they have a server in Texas, they have a server in New York, they have a server here, there, 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 there. And then when somebody tries to hit your website, it's gonna route them to the server that's closest to them. So for instance, the California will get a California server. So now you're down, um, so now you've shaved off two seconds just because of the, um, the amount of distance that they're looking for that data. And uh, so that's basically how they work. I'm not gonna get into any more technical detail other than the location aspect of it and the caching system. Uh, but um, it's very helpful. And if you don't wanna leave your host, if you're like, that's too much work, it's a really great way to just put it on top of it and just see how it works. Now, if it's still not performing the way that you really want it to, you might wanna go ahead and um, upgrade your server so you can give them a call and say, hey, you know, my load's speed is not where I want it. Can I, uh, can I get a better uh, package, something like that? And uh, then you can decide whether or not you want to go to like a cloud server or something else. So and another one that I want to tell you. So SEO is also all about authority. So, you know, you have your optimization, you have your site speed, and then you have your authority. <clears throat> what is authority and how do I get it? So authority is basically other websites that connect to your website. 
So how you get that is um, basically like content marketing. So you have your blogs with the longer keyword strings. Uh, the more of those you have, of course, uh, the more original content you have, the higher your authority. Another thing is like videos. So if you have like a, a Vimeo channel and like a YouTube channel and it all comes back to your website, you know, you're posting uh, those videos there. You're linking back from those, um, from those websites into yours. It increases your authority. Same with social media. You're linking back to your social media accounts. They're linking back to you and increases your um, increases your authority. Uh, Google My Business is also the same way, although it's more for brokerages than it is for agents. Um, it's just another piece of um, interconnecting authority. So as all of these pieces working together is um, what's going to get you higher rankings in Google and get you on that front page. All right, so those are your basic SEO tips. Um, if you liked this video, hit like. If you wanna hear more, hit subscribe. If you wanna learn more about SEO and some other ideas, some of the companies that I suggest that you, uh, that you partner with to um, get your SEO scrub or some of your content marketing done, your social media done, that sort of thing, um, join wealthycre.com. And um, on the bootcamp, I will have all that information for you. All right, thank you so much for watching this video uh, and I will see you in the next one.